मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम बैक ओके लास्ट वीक वेन वी स्टॉप्ड वी वे डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑर्गन स्पेसिफिक एंड टिश्यू स्पेसिफिक मैनिफेस्टेशन वट वॉज द चिल्ड्रेन वेन अ माइक्रोब एंटर अवर बॉडी इट विल गो टू स्पेसिफिक ऑर्गन इट अटैक्स अ स्पेसिफिक ऑर्गन एंड स्टार्ट टू डेवलप देर येस If a no, if a virus or bacteria, if a germ enters through the mouth, where is it likely to go? It is likely to go into our stomach, and it will they cause uh, an effect our digestive system and different parts of digestive system. Okay, if it enters through our nose, it will go to the lungs, and it will cause. It will. damage of our lungs or it may cause symptoms like what are the symptoms when the lung is affected yes we we may have cold we may have a, a sore throat we may have cold isn't it we may have extreme cases we may have pneumonia also clear like that okay so this is what is called as organ specific and tissue specific manifestation okay now we know we also know that which disease is caused by what whether it is a virus or bacteria which cause the disease we know that isn't it children right and why is it very important to know who is the causative organism why is it important children because virus is a different living a not living organism not living organism of course bacteria is another living organism worms are another group of organism itself ne right? fungi is another completely different group of organisms there they have their own metabolic pathways they form they have their own life cycle and the modes of reproduction is different in each of these cases okay so the treatment also will vary that is why it is important to know who causes the disease Like when we go to doctors with a kind of disease, will the doctors always pres- pre- prescribe the same kind of medicine for all the diseases? Never, isn't it? So, virus, virus, you know, they are non-living. They are non-living, and when they enter our body, and they will go and uh, attach to our genome, that is the DNA. or inside the nucleus and it replicates it duplicates it divides along with our chromosomes that is why children there is no treatment for viruses virus diseases they have no uh, i mean no uh, vaccines have been developed for diseases like uh, caused by viruses you know is there a virus uh, vaccine for aids aids is caused by virus you know that isn't it so there is no vaccine yet to control aids and see this uh, covid has is nearly one year since the covid has stuck and they have no not even found a vaccine or every country is trying to find out one but they have not been successful clear because viruses don't have because they're not living they don't have a pathway of its own they they use our machinery which whose whose body it is entering its machinery it will use to replicate okay that is why it is very difficult to find a medicine or vaccine for viral disease whereas bacteria bacteria you know it's a prokaryote and it has got a cell wall right okay and uh, uh, when you go to doctors with the viral de- sorry bacterial disease what do the doctors give you yes they give you or they prescribe you antibiotics a course of antibiotics to be taken okay so when you take this medicine why it is given first why this one the bacteria for bacterial disease alone the antibiotics are given if we take antibiotics it will not affect our cold at all nothing will happen to the viruses 
okay what will both these medicines and antibiotics do children in our body ah uh, it will cre- it will stop the pathway metabolic pathway of making cell wall in bacteria bacteria has got a cell wall you know that okay so it has a, it has a own metabolic reaction through which it prepares or it makes a cell wall understood children now these antibiotics will stop the pathway of synthesizing the cell wall clear children and without cell wall it's not bacteria at all that means it is dead it is it is getting killed it means it is dead or it's getting killed okay so we have to take that one course, uh, course of this medicine what doctors prescribe okay children you tell me when you take a medicine when the doctors give you medicines you take medicines once after breakfast or after lunch or after dinner the first course you take what will happen children immediately the general symptom the fever le the general symptom like fever it reduces fever will go within within one or two times if we take the medicine itself isn't it and slowly one or two days all almost all the symptoms get reduced what what is the habit of us children we'll take just one or two times or three times a day medicine and then the next day we will not take because it is we have got our symptoms reduced le because of symptoms have got reduced next next day we may get up and walk and we may do all the work oh i'm i've got cured of my disease you may say okay but if you stop the medicine you may find that the disease may reoccur why is that so it you go you have reduced the symptoms after taking the medicine the symptoms have got reduced but the microbe in your body is still there the microbe right it is still there in your body it may cause again the symptoms that is why when the doctors give you one full course of antibiotics you have to take because you, it is needed to kill each and every bacteria in the body okay so the first thing is now we are talking about children you have seen the diseases how it is caused what kind of symptoms it is causing everything you have seen isn't it now when you go to doctor the doctor has analyzed it is caused by virus or it is caused by bacteria what is the disease you got whether it is malaria whether it is dengue whether it is a covid whatever it is he has diagnosed diagnosed with you with certain disease clear now what is the next thing we have to treat it the doctors will treat you to cure your disease so what is the principles of treatment see when you go for treatment children when you get a disease correct when you get a disease you go for treatment so what are the two things principles of treatment the first thing is to reduce the symptoms and the second thing is to kill the microbes okay so we are talking about the principles of treatment the treatment of infectious disease consists of two steps they are to reduce the effects of the disease which means symptoms right and two second thing is to kill the microbes which cause the disease okay to reduce the effect of the disease this can be done by taking medicines to bring down the effects of the disease like fever pain loose motion etc and by taking bed rest ah why it is advised to take bed rest do you go out and play do you come to school acute and chronic you remember chronic disease we have to stay in bed for one or two weeks at least if you get typhoid malaria and etc etc you have to stay in bed for two, at least two weeks correct now why bed rest is advised bed rest help you to conserve energy that's why 
it is advised to take rest when you're taking medicines also so children what are the two principles of treatment yeah that is first one is to reduce the symptoms to reduce the symptoms and the symptoms will reoccur unless the microbe is still there in your body so the second thing is to kill the microbes okay children i think you have understood this one okay right Thank you all.